And we're back. So, I'm already cranky. Uh, was ready to leave about 20 minutes ago. Then I realized I couldn't find my effing air, earplugs. And, uh, uh, the extra pair I have, which are shit, were packed in one of the dry bags. That's how my dry bags look like, uh, Sanford and Son today, but, well, uh, because I just had to rip them off and put them back on. So, that was kind of a pain in the ass. Oh, <laughs> and here's where my earplugs are. Oh, I put them in my glove. Oh, that's too funny of a story. So funny. So funny. I kind of remember that now. I was like, oh, let me put them someplace so I don't lose them. Apparently, that was in my glove. So, yeah, then on top of it, I uh, washed my little cloth that I clean all the bugs off my visor with and I also clean my sunglasses with it and I forgot to put that in and my sunglasses are always greasy from sitting on my fucking head so sorry first that bomb but oh well I'm sure that's one of about thousands of the day so uh yeah I guess that's it I also forgot to put my uh my pa okay I got a kickstand plate cracking my ghetto wooden kickstand plate so what else happened oh god uh i think that's it i really don't know where i'm going except towards south dakota so yeah my glasses are all fucking greasy now uh i forgot to put my padded compression shorts on so i'm sure my ass will be killing me in about an hour and that's about that. So I can ride out behind a giant SUV. SUV, RV. I think about all the mistakes I made today, probably not wearing the padded ass shorts is going to be the one that's gonna be the worst the greasy glasses I can handle having shitty earplugs in right now that I got free at a race I can handle so I don't really think there's any good way to go today other than uh, I think that's 90 gonna be hot today I can feel it now towards South Dakota but some stupid SUV fucking cuts me off and kills me oh I can tell it's not gonna be a good ass day today it's pretty bad when I've sat on the bike I haven't even gone a mile I'm like oh my god Oh my god, my ass is killing me. And I, I think this air hawk probably helps out. I'm not really sure though. I tell you what, it's loud as fuck because these earplugs suck the big one that I got in. So. <coughs> probably switch them out once I make my first stop. Stop three quarter of a mile. Just kidding. So, all right, with that, peace out, suckers. And we're back. So, I got off the uh, 
Super Slab I-90 and I'm heading in the same direction. I don't know if I can see the GPS, but oh well, you can see to my to my left over there. That's the uh, that's the interstate, but I'm just taking a road that kind of parallels it because I think it's like a county four or something. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I just bitch about my earplugs again too. They fucking suck. These earplugs I got in. Look, I found my old dirty ones, and I'll uh, pop those in when I stop for petrol or a break. So, pretty much that. This is still Minnesota. Looking forward to South Dakota. <laughs> I was gonna say something else. But I hope I see Yoda, but that was stupid. So, all right, peace out. And we're back. So I see the dotted line coming up on uh, the GPS around this curve and then into the next one. Looks like we'll be headed into South Dakota. South Dakota. Much more fun being on these back roads, you know. I looked at them before and I was like, oh, it's just like a straight line, but actually cool, man. I'm glad I did a little interstate, I guess, so I could <coughs> get some miles hammered out. So I do have to get home eventually. Okay, bump, so we're gonna go slow on this. That wasn't too bad. Now the next curve. Hopefully there is a spot I can pull over. Hopefully there's a sign, first of all. On top of that, hopefully there's a spot I can pull over. I doubt there is. I doubt there is because it is a gravel shoulder. Here we go. says visit again. South Dakota doesn't care. Minnesota said I'm leaving. South Dakota doesn't give a shit I got here. Oh well. Yeah, I really don't know any really where I'm going other than I'm trying to go to the Badlands. I did a shitty job planning last night. So I decided to do laundry again. Because I forgot to wash a pair of my pants. Actually, they were converted into shorts, so I saw the legs in the dryer in the wash. And I thought I washed the pants. And then I was yesterday, you know, when pants pretty much get soaked every day all sweaty and that so hey hey that made me stay up late and then I was just freaking tired so all right well with that welcome welcome to South Dakota thanks for not caring South Dakota that I'm here <coughs> it like a goldfinch or some type I thought I was gonna hit it yikes all right peace out And we're back! So I'm on, uh, I think, Route 38 <coughs> in South Dakota. And the uh, cool thing is speed limit 65 on some of these state routes, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, one weird thing around here is you have these signs that say X marks the spot. And they're like death signs where people die, and then it says, like, I gotta remember, hopefully, we'll see one. And it says, Drive carefully, do you want to die here? Or something like that. <laughs> <coughs> it's kind of a, I mean, I think it's better than those roadside crosses they have all over the place, but kind of a little uh, morbid. So, uh, yeah, 
yeah, uh, I'm trying to figure out now. I really want to, I think I'll be in the Badlands and then I want to Black Hills maybe tomorrow because I don't want to be pushing that at the end of the day. That looks like that's some fun riding. At least that's what the uh, uh, boards tell me. <laughs> I'm just making fun of uh, <coughs> internet boards. But uh, yeah, so that's that's that. Uh, gonna try to maybe hit the next town and try to get lunch there. Maybe I'll get lucky and get a beer from South Dakota too. And uh, looks like a speedway here, I-90 speedway. Yep, yep. So uh, yeah, that's that. Hopefully I get lunch. I can figure out where the hell I'm going. There we go. Think. Drive safely. X marks the spot. <coughs> Not laughing, just coughing. Alright, with that, peace out! And we're back! We're back! So I'm uh, still in South Dakota. Uh, it's pretty shitty on mileage today. I am traveling. Uh, seeing what's around here. Maybe there's camping over here. Uh, I'm headed to a Kaka KOA. water in a while, so it's out of here. Yeah, I think I uh, probably wasn't drinking enough. I got a little dehydrated, but uh, it's kind of weird because, you know, if I was going to get dehydrated, I would have thought it would have been two days ago, or even yesterday. <coughs> Not really even yesterday, two days ago. Today I just had like a freaking crazy ass headache. Taking pills, but maybe I'll take one. But uh, yeah, just sleepy, you know, again. Yep, yep. I wonder that's geology field camp. Looks like it. Looks like a van full of uh, packed kids in a van. probably be like god this segment will be like <coughs> the whole day pretty much sucked oh there was a honda dealership where i was and it looked like a i mean it's like a ghost shell of a honda dealership you go in there there's like one guy working in there i think one guy in the back all they pretty much have are quads and kids crfs and side by sides there's just a dog running around and dog toys all over the place. <coughs> I did pick up a Honda t-shirt. You know, I always have room for one of those. It says <coughs> whatever the name of the town is.
down here. What the hell? Just three miles. They gonna kill me. Sentex is the big uh, gas station around these parts. This fucking idiot gonna run out. people that I hate, all of them. I bet you I'm going to be, uh, well, alright, I'll just shut my pie hole. I bet you I'll be going back to where I was, but no, because you just crossed a fucking gigantic body of water. Let's go this 40 here. I shouldn't go 55. Tiki bar. This seems exactly where I don't want to be. Oh great, loose gravel. So it seems like here they just love to throw gravel down on top of tar and just fucking call it good. If I had like my pretty bike, my intercept, I'd be pissed about a ride on that's something this trip has made me realize. Like, if I had a pretty bike, I would not fucking take it across the country. There was a, a, a fleeting moment where I was like, ah, oh, maybe I'll take the fucking Interceptor on this country trip. And then I think about, like, day one, well, I probably wouldn't have camped on that BLM property. Just a lot of the shitty places. And, oh, once the bike would have fell over it, uh, two wheels of such as in Georgia, oh, that would have been fucking game over for me. It's pretty though, out here, you know, for what it's worth. I guess I'll say this is worth the uh, wasting the 10 minutes of my life that I'm wasting doing this.
Uh, I'm gonna just park in the shade until I figure out what I'm doing. Oh, because the beam's broken. They're probably going to be mad at me if I take this put up in the area. Alright, with that. And we're back! So I checked in at this resort and they do not allow tent camping. I could have... Uh, apparently ten people are riffraff white trash uh, if you have a giant RV uh, even if it's financed you can camp there they had cabins there <coughs> but just on principle I'm not fucking Giving them money. If they don't like tents, fuck. I rent one of their cabins that's right on the water, literally right on the water, for 55 bucks. Just on principle's sake. So, I'm gonna uh, get back on the uh, interstate, kick it down a little further west. It looks like I'll be in KOA again. Yep, yep. So that being said, peace out. And we're back. So I stopped at a rest stop on the side of I-90. And getting into the home stretch uh, of the KOA tonight. Good thing is, I don't have a lot to do, so I should be able to plan a little bit more. face shield is filthy. There's so many bugs on it, it's disgusting. Yep, yep. And away we go! Think I got another 50 miles. All the super duper duper slam. Probably, uh. What the hell? It's hard for me to hear myself talk. But I think that wind curtain thing works pretty good. And we're back. So I just got gas at this uh, 18, 8, 1880 old West Town. And one of the cool things is they have, uh, looks like, might have shaded motorcycle parking. I'm going to uh, ride through the lot once just to check it, check it out. Uh, no bikes, this island. So that's interesting free air yeah. so that's pretty cool it looks like they got motorcycle parking over here oh, that's all motorcycle parking oh that's pretty cool but it looks like they put tables under there <laughs> it's like 
they're lifting up the gravel now thick here. Smoking guy. Kaylee! Another night at the KOA! Becoming regular. KOA regular. Kaka K! Kaka O! Kaka A! Staying in a tent, a c, -c, c tent, not a c, -c cozy c, c cabin. Ah, good. I hope there's about three miles of dirt road, maybe. Yeah, cool. Looks like I might have a mile of gravel. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm gonna open up my visor. Oh, stand up. Stand up because my ass is killing me. Yeah. Here, let me just make this clear. I don't think it's the NC's fault, especially now because I got that low aftermarket seat, and I think that dare I say maybe made things worse for the long haul. It's a K-O-A, what do you say? It's a great day at the K-O-A, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, for a minute I forgot I had the camera on. That's what I do all the time, so. All right, peace out. And we're back. <coughs> So from the sign, you can see I ate at Subway again, and uh, I wasn't planning on eating on Subway. There was a little local place I was planning on going to, and nothing's close to the campground. So it was uh, 13 miles away, and I got there, and the restaurant side wasn't open. Uh, the bar side was open. And I went in there and I said hello loudly a few times and nobody came out. So I went outside, checked, see what time they're supposed to be open. And they're supposed to be open from 4 to 11. So I went in again and tried and again. Uh, no one answered, so, so then I went to this subway, so subway from the campground was 20 miles, but because I was 13 miles away, it was 33 miles to go to subway, now I'm going to drive 20 miles back, so, 50 mile round trip for subway, and, uh, you might think I'm crazy. But honestly, that was the the best thing around was Subway. Yep, that indeed was the best thing, Subway. Uh, sunset Grill looked pretty shitty, like it had already pre-made food. And uh, yeah, the reason I did that is because for lunch I wasn't feeling great. And I uh, <clears throat> had a salad. And tonight, this campground has pizza. And it's like shitty pizza, you know. Like, from a 
sight. Plus a dollar per top of each top of the line. Yeah, it's crazy. I filled up uh, filled up for gas. I got gas right. Oh, actually, my trip's longer than that. Fucking way longer. It's gonna be. Well, the the the, 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 the gauge will tell that the. the uh, I'm almost at 50 miles now, and it was half a mile from the gas station to the campground. And maybe say driving around the campground a mile, right? So it means 50 miles plus another 20 right now. It means 70 miles to get something. <laughs> Pretty crazy. <coughs> I didn't have the camera on before, but I was just kind of sick of it, to be honest with you. I didn't feel like hooking up one other thing. I don't have anything hooked up now. The GPS, the spot, anything. <coughs> Except the camera. But, uh, yeah, I looked at... Sorry, I lost my train of thought. So, I was looking at a map, and, uh, yeah, I'm thinking I, I definitely, tomorrow I want to go to uh, Mount, Mush, Mount Rushmore and see the uh, beautiful sculpture that was carved onto uh, Native American sacred area. Uh, should be kind of cool to see. I'm being kind of sarcastic there, but it, I think that is true. What I remember reading back in the day. And then, uh, Yeah, and then after that, uh, I think I'm going to go to Devil's uh, Tower. And then I'm possibly thinking about going into uh, North Dakota just because uh, it's ridiculous that I've never ridden my bike in North Dakota. So I was thinking about doing that. And the reason I was thinking about that is they claim if I just shot home, it's 1,400 miles. Okay, I know that's a lot, but I really needed to do that. <coughs> on a bike. I could do it in three days. You know, three hell. And I still have, uh, today's Thursday. So I still have, I'd like to have a good, I have a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then I have the, the whole next full week, but I'd like to be home in five. So eight more days I'd like to be home. I'd like to have the weekend relax at least the Sunday. So I'll probably try to use the Saturday as my uh, my buffer day. Uh, something else I guess to comment on here too is like if you ride a bike you got to be comfortable on gravel here because it seems like everything around here is gravel. Uh, the little town I went into it looks like what they do is they blacktop the center of the roads and then the and I've seen this before today too when I was riding. On the shoulders, it seems like they just throw like tar and chip stuff down. So it like kind of hardens the asphalt up. It's not, I mean, you definitely need like a like a kick plate here for your stand, which I don't have. Uh, a few times I put my bike on the side stand and it would sink in you know, while I was there. So I put it on the center stand and that would stink and sink in too. <coughs> but that was a little safer. Yeah, there's a... Uh, I was going to go to this other place for dinner, and... Oh, God, it looked like... That, that scares me up there, that... That topper thing just wobbling like that. It's a matter of time. It's, oh, that fucking thing comes off. They're not on me. It's pretty out here, though. These rolling hills are pretty cool. Yeah, so you can see here how this shoulder is even a different color, right? <coughs> I get to ride behind the wonky box. Oh, yeah, so going back to gravel roads, I mean, the 
campground was gravel. This was other place I was going to eat at. It had like a massive gravel lot. And that's not why I stopped. It just looked way too... Uh, and I've eaten. There's not been one place this trip that I haven't eaten. You know, because it looked too like uh, local. This place looked way too local. Just by the... Uh, all the old pickup trucks that were outside and then right next door there was a <coughs> sorry an abandoned gas station and uh there's like 30 harleys there looks like they were meeting up for a ride or stopping or something or something and you know i don't know the other thing i realized too is when i went to that one bar to go uh that I went into and nobody was there twice. Uh, it seems like people you can still smoke in bars here. You know, I grew up in college uh, going into smoking bars. I don't want to be bothered anymore. <coughs> okay, so I just well, I'm not gonna run this camera because then I'll wind up putting the whole effing thing on uh, YouTube. It'll be like a two-hour segment. But, yeah, look at that! Still, look at that box.